Zachary Taylor was elected to office after being a war hero in the Mexican-American War. In his inaugural address, he warned about foreign entanglements. As American freemen, we do not but sympathize in all efforts to extend the blessings of civil and political liberty. But at the same time, we are warned by the admonitions of history and the voice of our own beloved Washington to abstain from entangling alliances with foreign nations. In all disputes between conflicting governments, it is our interest, not less than our duty, to remain strictly neutral. While our geographic position, the gen genius of our institutions and our people, the advancing spirit of civilization, and above all the dictates of religion direct us to the cultivation of peaceful and friendly relations with all powers. In the short period that he was president, Taylor surprised the American people. As a slave owner himself, he was expected to be a strong supporter of the slave states, but he surprised and pushed to admit New Mexico and California to the Union, despite the objections of slave states who knew that the two states would be free states. When some of the slave states threatened to secede over the issue, he responded by threatening to hunt down anyone who threatened to secede. He died in office. 16 months after being inaugurated.